Hey guys, it's MJ, the Student Tech Tree, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to lose all your money. Now, this video was inspired by one of my favorite YouTubers. His name is CP Gray, and he's made a video on seven ways to maximize your misery. And it's some sort of reverse psychology that I thought, let's use it worth finance. So, I'm gonna show you how to lose all your money. And I think the first one is probably the most obvious, and that is to spend more than you earn. So whatever your salary is, whatever your pocket money is, don't let that bound you on what you can purchase. Buy whatever you want, and don't worry about any constraints or anything like that, because the bank can always take you into overdraft. You can always buy on credit. So spend more than you earn. Number two, let's take that one step further. Let's go to the bank and instead of just tapping into our overdraft facility, let's borrow as much as we can. If the bank says your salary can give you a $1 million loan or a $1 million mortgage, you take the maximum of that and you go buy the fanciest house, the fanciest car that you can get with your borrowed money. So maximize your mortgages, your bonds as much as you can. Number three, visit the casino as often as you can. We all know that with a fair coin, there's a 50-50 chance that it'll be heads and tails, but with a casino coin, there's a 51% chance that the casino will win and a 49% chance that you will win. Which means by going to the casino lots and lots and lots, making it a regular part of your daily life, the long-term averages will catch up with you and you will lose all your money. But the good news is, is that you'll be creating a lot of employment for the casino people. So it's quite a good thing to do is visit the casino as much as you can. Next, you want to invest in stocks and securities that other people are investing. You want to buy stuff just because other people are buying it. If people are investing in Bitcoin, well, doesn't matter what your investment strategy is, what your liabilities are, or what your own personal situation is, forget all of that and just invest in Bitcoin because everybody else is investing in Bitcoin. Same with you know, the new hot stocks that are coming up on the stock exchanges, invest in them purely because other people are investing in them. When you become an investor, think like a sheep, get into that whole herd mentality and follow what other people are doing. Number five, live for today and don't worry about tomorrow. You know, enjoy life now. Don't worry about saving towards a pension or saving towards any other, I don't know, purchase that you might make in the future. Live only for today. So when you get your salary, don't set aside the recommended 15% and you know, put it towards your pension saving. No man, don't worry about tomorrow. Let your future self deal with those issues and get the most out of life as you can today. Number six is, it seems kind of counterintuitive. If you want to lose all your money, why should you try to get rich quick? Well, this is actually one of the best methods. Because if you go online, you will see so many different companies and different people advertising oh, get 20% return in one week or get 50% return every month. If you see these videos, you need to go all in on these videos that promise wealth creation incredibly quickly. Because, I mean, just forget that whole wisdom around money growing slowly and go in and just give all your money to these untrusted people and, yeah, just hope that they, hope that they make you rich. Um, which they won't, which they won't. They will take the money and keep it for themselves or close out and, you know, scams exist. But if you want to lose all your money, go and do that. And you'll see that their ads are always popping up all over the internet, so they're not that difficult to find. And then finally, never monitor anything. Don't worry about your bank statements. Don't worry about your bank balance. Don't worry about how your investments are doing. Don't worry about how your overdraft is growing. Just be willy-nilly with your finance. Spend as you come, you know, spend, spend as things come and go. And don't worry about looking at the underlying data and thinking, oh gosh, should that value actually be as high as that? Or should that expense be as low as that? Don't worry about any of that type of stuff. Don't bother, it's a waste of time, so never monitor anything if you want to lose all your money. 
And there we have it. Uh, now, once you've lost all your, all your money, you should be one step closer to maximizing your misery. But if you want to see seven other ways to maximize your misery, go check out CP Gray's video. And finally, I'm going to give you a bonus way to lose all your money, and that is don't educate yourself. So, so what? You didn't do finance at school, or you didn't do finance at university. Stay ignorant. Don't worry about how finance is changing every day. Stay in the dark, and that's another great way to make sure that you lose all your money. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you for a proper video next time. Cheers, guys.